Hello everyone, it's your boy Chuck Thunder. So, you have caught me in the middle of doing a run, getting a few uh, things familiarized with myself of the area of India and Arabia. I have sailed around the northern tip, southern tip of Africa and now working my way back from Calicut, picking up all the ports on the way back. Lots of ports to get. Um, I, I'm not an adventurer right now. I probably should be, but I'm waiting to find a run into a city that does have a adventurer's guild to change. I probably should have done that, but I didn't. So I'm just sailing. Sailing away. Come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. So that's pretty much all I'm doing right now. Just getting myself as many of these ports as I can so that when I get back to Seville with my cargo full of pepper and a few other things, mostly pepper, that I have, uh, you know, make a lot of money and then hand in a bunch of discoveries, which, let's just see how many I've already gone and grabbed. Ports. I have ten new to un to that I need to report, which should help a lot. So that's the goal, is to, rip, to get a lot of them, and just report a bunch of them. Uh, turn. Don't head towards that. I don't want to be in a battle. I did use a couple items here to help me get this trip done a little bit faster. I have 10% speed boost. And a temporary avoidance of natural disasters. Except for wind and blizzard, which that's what it says, but when you read the item it says storms too, so I don't know. I don't know how I avoid storms. They are world events that just happen, so whatever. Alright, so we are gonna hit hit up Jofra next and then Soca Socatra, I think that's what it's called. So that's that's our goal. But this is what I've been doing uh, lately since I've been out. Literally have just leveled up my character a little bit and gotten some maritime skills. So I have a battleship now that can actually do some battle. Look, I got all this battle fame now from doing some of those battle runs, quests. Um, my trade level and my adventure level should rise a couple of levels, maybe, maybe even more uh, when I get back to Seville. You know, and I can check in with you guys when that happens, see what uh, ends up being my result from this trip. I mean, 400 pepper, I don't know exactly what I spent, but I didn't spend, you know, nearly as much I'll make. I don't know what it says. Does it say how much I purchased it for? No. But I know I only purchased for like a few hundred, and this is one of the basic spice runs that a lot of people do early on, early game. So this, this is my plan for the day. Gotta get Jafra, Socatra, Aiden, Jeddah, Suez, Masawa, Sile. And that would be... That actually is it. Um, actually, so I don't have too many more to do, but it, it'll take me a good better part of an hour. Text message to do. But it's something. And this is my my thing for the day and I will say for those people who are new to this like it's really not that bad sailing through these areas you do run into some guys that want to kill you but just carry a few uh, you know ceasefire agreements if you have them they're not expensive they'll work some of the time not all the time but just you know have them just in case you might have to spend a couple to not take damage from them bring things to re repair yourself um, and if you don't have ceasefire agreements, you know, and you have the tribute goods for brigands, those are the best thing that you could use. Um, or you can get a blue flag or whatever it is. But, you know, those are expensive and I can see why people do them for the long trips. But for me, this has been working. Occasionally I get into a battle that's got like four ships and it takes some hits. And just repair yourself up after you escape. 
nothing that you can't, you know, make up for. So this is what I've been doing, popping in. By the way, I had to have a disguise on of a little top of about a level 50. I think 50 was the minimum to make this happen. So it's really important that you have it. Um, you know, otherwise you won't be able to get in here. I have no idea what these places are selling. I should probably be checking. This place clearly doesn't sell very much. I don't want the shopkeeper. I said I want the market keeper. Frankincense. I don't know what that is. Honey, cattle, coconut fibers. Eh, whatever. Nothing special. We'll just rest up. Get the rest up here. Get my stuff to move on. But I know Arabic, yeah, so I don't need to use my body language, which is nice. So let's top off our. Let's get some majboos and fatouche and gourmet zabzi. It wasn't very good, huh? Why was that not very good? What did I do wrong? Well, whatever. I got most of my stuff back. I think I chose things twice. Oh, there is city official. I was like, where do I go to invest? I like to invest at least once in each of these cities that I visit. Get a little bit of trade fame while I'm at it. I don't get much, but anything new here? Yeah, now I got milk, pistachio nuts. So, a few things. Cool. Not buying these things right now. I have a full situation going on on my ship, so I really don't have the luxury of any more space. Um, my aid. What is my aid's information at here? Now, my aid is at 15, 15, and 11. Do I have any new ships that I can do? <laughs> Ship inventory information. Can't do the carrot yet. Needs 15. So she needs level 17 trades. She's not even there yet for this one. The Carrick's really not going to be that valuable to use because it doesn't have the most storage. I mean, it's more storage than the Sloop Dog, but I'm trading Carrick. It's something of an improvement. It'll be definitely more of a battle assistance. Otherwise, I have got the trading galley, which will add the most space. And this is my battleship. So at some point, I'll move up from the Sloop for her to the trading galley for when we're doing trade runs and then to the trading carrick when we're doing battles um, that would be the main idea then this loop kind of just becomes obsolete maybe for the next aid that I get I'll hold down to that it's a nice little ship for that but we have it that's been my uh, plan for a while now is just to do this and just keep sailing now it's from sail to Socatra so if you want to you know see what happens when I get back to Seville I will log in and find out for you or at least summarize what happened the next time we uh, we chat alright everyone take it easy